Hey y'all, I'm Alex with Soil Max to Georgia. Thanks for joining us today. Today I'm down at the farm. Came down for the weekend to uh, hang out with some friends from Atlanta. Some of my high school friends came down with my dad too and just hung out and uh, enjoyed a weekend at the farm. When we were down here, we got to see two new calves who were born, or that were born, and they were cute as could be, but we had some bad news. One of them didn't make it. Um, so I'll show you when he was um, still walking around, but I'm not going to show anything of his, his life. When we were trying to, to bottle feed him and take care of him, uh, it, was, it was a pretty rough day yesterday. But um, we still have one really cute one and a, and a bunch that are, I think we have another 12 that are due in the next couple of months. So we'll have a lot more babies coming around us. Sadly, just part of life on the farm. But yeah, here he is as he was... Uh, coming out he'd been separated from his mom a little bit and uh, then she came back and tried to help him so here he is in his uh some of his last time here but he was he was a cutie he was he was he was precious let us pet him a lot yep. come on cows <laughs> actually before i get to showing the calves i wanted to show this little traffic jam these cows wouldn't let us through the corral uh, it took us a little while. My dad had a honking horn. Uh, finally, started easing forward, and they got out of the way very uh, begrudgingly, I guess would be the word. Uh, but every time they see us, they think, especially in the winter, they think we're bringing them food. So they all uh, bunch up and come and check us out and see what we have to offer. But sadly, we had nothing for them this time but love. Hey, little baby. How are you doing? You're shivering. Were you just born? You're still wet. Yeah. Look at you, though. You saying hi? You're so small. Oh, it's still shaking. Go find your mama. Come here. I know. Can you come here, sweetie? Come here. Come here. Yes. Oh my goodness. You are the sweetest. Oh, come here. Yeah, it's red back there? Yeah, but she's been, been biting at it or something. She's skinny as hell. You need to find your mom. Are you okay? Look at your nose. It's a little bit uh, scuffed up too, isn't it? That's all. Uh, I haven't been cold enough for you to get any frost on it in the past week. I've never seen one this young be so calm. I don't think she's doing well. Where's your mama? Maybe this is it right here. Can you go over and see mommy? Hey y'all, let me know if you have a theory. Leave something in the comments of what happened to his nose and ears. Like maybe a coyote got to him, but then the herd protected him before there was any major damage. 
that could have added to his uh, demise. After a few minutes of this one coming over to try to help out, we realized that wasn't his mom, but just one of the, the kind of the, the herd mothers uh, coming over and helping out and showing the younger ones what to do. Well, this one's taking care of her, so I'm going to keep my distance. But she doesn't, her items don't seem to be full. You just going to be nice to her and help her out? Yeah. You look like you could be the mom. She does. I look a lot of money. But you are awfully skinny to be a new mom. Clean her up. Maybe you can teach well, the. She would be if she were new mom, yeah. But her otters aren't big. Or isn't big. We'll clean her up. Mm hmm. And clean her up. Make her presentable again. So cows will come and lick on their babies, try to stimulate them and uh, warm them up a little bit to try to get them going. Come on, you can keep cow step back. That one's 860, Dad. So that one is, um, that might be one of the new ones there. It's 12 after 12. Yeah. This is one of the, that's 850? 860? That's one of the new ones. Yeah. So that one here on the right, the cow here on the right, is one of our new ones we got uh, this past summer. We don't know if that's her calf or not. She is really taking care of her. She's finally taking care of her, but she was. this was the one we just found. It was kind of abandoned on the side. But she's been licking her clean for a little while. But we think, if this is the right one, we think this one's about a week old. Yeah. Rachel knew about both of them. Mm -hmm. And the other one we have, it was born yesterday. Keep trying, keep trying, just put it, put it right there for him. The mom kept on trying. She'd move around trying to uh, set herself up for the calf to feed, but you can see the calf is, is just fading yeah, here. And there's, the, like the cow's udder is too small and there's not enough colostrum in there. Keep trying, mama. I know, we're worried about her too. goes away, comes back, cleans her up, looks on her some, tries to put her teats down basically in the little cow's face, and she just won't react. So she's back again, and she's letting out this really soft moo. I've never, it's not even a moo, it's just kind of a groan, the cow is, the mama. And uh, it's like she's just trying to like, come on, come on baby, you can do it. I'm gonna go over and see if I can, since the calf's not moving, see if I can put her up near her teats. But the, you can see even the cow's udder is pretty small. This is her first baby. So she is only, the cow, the mom is only two years. I think she just turned two or is about to be two years old. So she's a young one, but she's old enough to have a good calf. This one just, look at that. She's, he won't move. I keep saying she, but that's a bull calf it looks like. Look at that. I can hold the camera on her, she just won't move. She just, I come over and she just... He, again, uh, just lets me walk over and pet. What's going on? What are those marks on your ears, too? Barbed wire gets you, or what's happened? 
Who knows? Hadn't been cold enough for frostbite or anything weird like that. Something got you. Look at how sunken in. I don't know if it's gonna show up with the, the glare, but it's really sunken in in here. Yeah, there's that soft kind of a groan. Like a cat purring. All right, we're heading into tractor supply and we're gonna see if we can get a bottle for the calf and some colostrum, see if we can help her, help him uh, get off the ground and get moving and hopefully start nursing soon. I'm not gonna show the calf anymore. When we got back, the calf was laying down, couldn't get up. We tried a bottle feeder, we tried the spoon feed into her, tried everything we could, uh, but she wouldn't do it. So what I'm showing here, this is what the healthy udder should look like. This is on one of the other moms. But this here is the udder for the mom of the one that didn't make it. And so we're gonna give her another year, I think, and then I might have to call her.